we've been working with this quote, we've been taking this quote out, but I really think it's important that we ourselves, and then with the masses, take every opportunity we can to get deeper into what this quote means. It is actually very rich, and it would be important to, to break this down, like I said, on radio, and street corner discussions, in different ways among each other, what it fully means. So I want to walk through this. VA is saying, no more generations of our youth. Think about it. How many generations have there been? Kidnapped from their homelands, forced to work from can't see in the morning to can't see at night, experimented on by medical science when slavery was formally ended, still open to being kidnapped by any sheriff who could sell them into convict labor or sharecropping, with young children forced to work in the fields and the mines of this country, and now generations facing open season from pigs or wannabe pigs, warehoused in prisons with no future under this system. So that's the first, no more generations of our youth. The VA goes on, here and all around the world. He's saying this because we're talking about generations literally in every corner of the globe. Now there's generations of young women and young girls who are sold into sex slavery from Vietnam, Indonesia, Moldova, all across the world, including in the cities of the U.S. And generations of youth are locked in sweatshop labor or blown away by U.S. bombs, whose fate has been sealed, says B.A. Sealed by whom? Not by human nature or poor life choices, but by the workings of a system, capitalism, imperialism, a system that seeks out profit wherever it can be found, extracted from the blood and the sweat of masses of people through controlling, dominating, and brutalizing whole countries and whole peoples. Every part of this statement from BA, and you can walk through, every part of it has layers and layers of meaning, both here and all over the world, including the very end of the statement. No more of that. And this is significant because it is a declaration, it's an insistence, but it's also said by this person who's done the work. He's developed the new synthesis of revolution and communism, the strategy for revolution, and he's providing the leadership to make this good, to really make it no more. And that's something, too, we should talk with people about. The whole arc of this, it's a very concentrated, simple statement, but it has a lot of layers in it. And we should understand this and we should walk other people through it. The more you walk through it, the richer it becomes with layers to unpack with people. There should be a lot of people who really appreciate the quote when they first encounter it, but who through this kind of discussion come to see the layers and come to further appreciate the deeper meaning of what they are signing on to, what they're joining with.